The cause still unknown tonight and what caused a fire at a 50s themed diner Gunther Tootie's in Colorado Springs. Curio News Channel 13's Annabelle Childers is live there along Woodman Road with what we've learned today. Annabelle. Bart, Heather, you can see the restaurant behind me is still closed and marked off with caution tape. Investigators have ruled out arson, but they still don't know exactly what started the fire. A haze of smoke as flames burned early this morning inside Gunther Tootie's diner on Woodman Road. When our first engine got here, they saw fire actually through the front windows. Today, a haze of fog. The fire gone, but recovery efforts just getting started. First, it's, it's a little shock, of course. And then secondly, it's, um, is everybody okay? Number one, is anybody hurt? Richard Weil got the call just after midnight that the automatic fire alarm in the diner had signaled the Colorado Springs Fire Department. When those firefighters arrived, Captain Mike Smaldino says they classified the situation as a working structure fire. At some point in there, the fire, fire grew uh, a little bit bigger than, than what they had initially seen. So we had to pull that uh, those initial firefighters out. Smaldino says the flames caused extensive damage inside the restaurant, but in the end did not damage the building structure. While they can't determine how long the recovery will take, he doesn't believe the restaurant will reopen anytime soon. And that's a big concern for Gunther Tooties. We have almost 30, 30 people employed here. As they try to find solutions for the staff here at Woodman, for now they're trying to get as much information as they can to figure out how to move forward. During COVID, when we had to shut down, there's a lot of outpouring of support, and we hope that's the same similar thing right now. And again, Colorado Springs, we love y'all. You've been great to us. And one of those firefighters was injured in the fire. He was transported to a local hospital in stable condition. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Annabelle Childers, KRDO, News Channel 13. Annabelle, thanks.